Hi, this is Mary Kitchen for Red Carpet Diary here at the Toronto International Film Festival. It's another night of premieres and we're covering them all right here on Red Carpet Diary. What is the Red Carpet Diary? We are on a worldwide. Well, that means if I make an ass out of myself, I can be on, uh, you know, all over the oh, world. You can watch it tomorrow morning. Okay, very good. Maybe tonight. All right, good. Natalie's character, Amelia, um, is now married to the guy I was married to when she met him. Kind of steals your husband. She steals my husband. Yeah. <laughs> If I'd have known I was one of the greatest actors in the world, I'd have asked for more money. It's the funniest script I've ever read. I was laughing on every page. A wonderfully original script that he wrote, and he was a marvelous director. To go off page and, and to get spontaneous. Full of quirky, eccentric characters. He's just mad as a brush and, and so creative and so smart. But it's impossible to, to explain. She's very strong, very sassy. Politically very influential, kind of huge fashion icon of the time. It's really like three women in one. The teeth, the eyes, the blood. There's no green screen, there's no computer generated images. It's delicious and I'm happy to do it again and I like the look of your neck. Hey, you're the nice guy. I, yeah, I'm a good For guy. For once. I've been a good guy many times. Well, okay, I think this film... I was an FBI agent, come on. Yeah, well, you were... I caught Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> I'll be surprised if I don't cry tonight. Well, tears are a good thing. Yeah, they are. They're, they're, they're what happens in life. They have a lot of power struggles. I'm um, just an object in the middle. The real draw for me was this kind of internal struggle these characters have. I know that doesn't sound interesting, but it, it's really interesting. <laughs> and uh, trust me. It's kind of a, it's kind of not a very smart thing to do to see the movie with a bunch of other people. You're supposed to see it privately, you know, with medication. There are free drugs at the end of the evening. <laughs> It's just our weird little movie that we made for three dollars in, in, you know, Connecticut and people are actually responding to it. In general, you're just trying to do films that you're really proud of along the way and try to build up a resume. It's Canada's festival and uh, um, it's just truly a Canadian movie, so this is where it has to be, for sure. A lot of the actors haven't actually seen the movie. Nervous watching it with an audience? I do not know what I'm about to see. So. Everyone tells me it's not crappy, but you know, do I trust them?